Hello traders and welcome to the Elliott Wave Street Analysis. We are going to check some instruments for this week. Also don't forget that you can take our membership service for a monthly fee to receive the daily wave counts, the trade ideas, daily charts and more. I will talk more about our service at the end of this analysis. So let's start with the euro. I think that analyzing the markets and learning the markets when we are in that cycle of our trading career that we are learning, that we are uh, absorbing new information, it's key to learn from live markets. When I was learning like uh, 12 years ago, uh, when I started to, to learn the financial markets, uh, all the courses, all the, all the analysis that I was seeing online were based on the previous moves. But I, I always I was thinking like I need a mentor that could explain the markets on the live mar on the live markets, someone that could guide me during the live markets, and it was almost impossible to find. So that's why um, I have been training a lot of uh, traders for the last uh, since uh, 2011, 2012. I started to teach the markets because I. I'm really passionate about these markets. I love these markets. It's, it's my entire life. So that's why I like to teach on live markets. So that's the plan. We are going to check the live market on the euro to have a clear forecast of uh, what's uh, likely to happen this week. Don't forget to read our full disclaimer at uh, elliotwavestreet.com about us and then you can find the disclaimer. So here we have the Elliott Wave Street wave count for the euro. The price is started to move down. There is a three wave sequence to the upside A, B, and C up. This thing is corrective. When we find that this is corrective, then the target is going to be the previous low. So the target for the euro could, could be this week or next week. It's going to be the 11290 area. Um, the, uh, the pattern that we are seeing, we have two patterns. Uh, the first one is the breakout of the trend line. This is the main trend line on the euro. Look at the breakout right here. Then it did the, the, the price as the, the um, pullback. And there is another pattern here at the same time. And is the head and shoulders top formation. The neckline has been uh, broken here. We have the, the neckline just here. Okay, we have here the, let me change the color. There we go. Uh, so we have the neckline right here. So there is the breakout of the neckline. I'd like to add an additional buffer when, when additional safety and area uh, entry because uh, sometimes we are seeing that the, the head and shoulders pattern, the price break, it's the neckline and then reverse and maybe moves higher because anyway, the trend was up. But here we can trigger at these levels where the price already moved below the end of wave one. This is a fantastic trigger that we can take with a small stop loss and then we can target the previous low. So that's the strategy for this week on the euro to take the short trade and target the previous low. Let's take a look at the dollar gen. On the dollar gen, I have some big news on the weekly chart. I found that we are in a big triangle formation. The dollar gen was able to move below the trend line, the triangle line, leaving a long tail. But after checking and checking the chart, also one of my students helped me because that there was a detail that I didn't see before but finally we found that this thing is corrective so this big triangle on the weekly chart it shows that we are suggests that we are in a bullish cycle with a target around the 113 area and we are trading at the 110 so this is a big big opportunity to follow the market this week the daily chart shows that we are seeing here the price building a five wave sequence leading diagonal away for the wave a it's going to be completed today. Then let's get ready for a three wave sequence down for the B leg and then the C leg gap. So if you are day trading, be careful because this dollar gen is going to be over soon. The bullish trend, we can start at any moment the reversal. That any moment 
uh, could be easy to find out just using here the trend line. Um, and once we have the breakout of the trend line, like a head and shoulders top or double top formation, sometimes the wave 5 ends just a little bit higher than the wave 3, and that's it. So if we see the, the head and shoulders top formation, then will be a good short trade for day trading. The, the S&P is another really interesting instrument this week because it has been inside this bearish channel. Here we have the price hitting the upper side of the bearish uh, trend line. Uh, that's the resistance area that we are looking at this week. Last week, after the employment data on Friday, we didn't see any significant move. Well, they're just hitting the resistance area. So, so the question we, we need to answer here is, is that the top? Is that the top of, of, of the market? The S&P is going to move down then? Or it's going to break out and it's going to continue higher? Well, thanks to the Elliott Wave theory, we can go to lower time frames and find out what's going on. So this is the daily chart. On the daily chart, uh, I'm labeling these like up as a corrective. We have some specific rules to make objective and analysis that is likely to be pre-subjective, -sub you know, because um, that's one of the of the issues with Elliott Wave that is subjective. But we, we have been creating uh, some guidelines and rules to make it more objective uh, with the same uh, without changing the Elliott Wave rules. So um, here we have this a corrective wave at the breakout of this trend line on the daily chart would be a good signal, but there is a faster signal. We know that the, that the multiple time frame, that the time frames are going to help us to accelerate the process in getting into the trends, right? We, if we wait for a weekly signal, for a daily signal, it's going to be uh, too late. So we can use the multiple time frame to accelerate the process. So on the S&P, what we can do is start taking shorts below this pivot. I'm using the CFD. So if you are using the E-mini, please uh, watch your chart and find this low and adjust the quotes because the quotes are going to be different. Or if you are using another broker different to, to the one that I'm using, then of course it's going to be different. The, the chart, but 2690 area on my chart, I like to add a, a little safety zone, will be the short on the S&P. Um, if the price doesn't break out this low and it starts moving a little bit higher, then we just move the, the corrective wave. Could be that on the weekly chart, the price wants to make a trap on the, on the resistance area. So we are there. Bearish breakout, short, bullish breakout, wait and just move the wave x don't worry we, we we are going to do that for you um and then the short trade with with our service the idea is that you don't have to be updating all these wave counts it's a lot of work trust me to update these wave counts to do the Elliott wave analysis so no matter if you don't know anything about the Elliott wave theory taking our service you're going to receive the daily updates you're going to receive everything you need to analyze these markets and combining this with your current uh, strategy, trust me, is going to help you a lot. So I invite you to take the, um, the trial, visit elliotwavestreet.com, visit the membership page, and here on the membership, you are going to, to read everything about the service, a little bit about me, about my experience. Um, uh, here is a sample video of one of the daily reports that you can check. And uh, then we have a trial of $19 for the first month. So you can go there and activate your membership today. First month trial 19, we take PayPal, we take credit card. We are in Florida, in the United States. So we take all the credit cards here and immediately you're going to receive your username and password to get into the members area, receive trade ideas, daily videos, daily reports, and everything. So thank you very much for your time. Please have a fantastic week. Have some good trades. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.